back in the game, the last ending, all that fun stuff. So I looked up where the last two eye things are, because we're about to get the last monkeys. I was like, ah, fuck, I don't want to spend all this time looking for the last two eye things. However, though, it's apparently even easier than I thought it was. Apparently, we were such good spotters that we literally found every single eye thing in the main levels. The last two eye things are actually in the hub world that we're in right now. We apparently picked up literally every single one except the hub world stuff. Because that's how silly we are. Apparently one of them was back in the subway. I don't exactly know how to get it. Maybe I'll look it up if I get a little bit like her. So I kind of just want to get the last ending, but yeah. I... We back up there. Take one of these little silly subway things, okay. Hi, train. Teleport to ship, hey, that works now. If I had reason to go back there, but I actually don't. I, don't, I just know it's around here, I don't actually know where it is. So this should be fun. Do I have to like go on the tracks? Do I have to do something else? It's an open world. I can't hop off. All I know 100% is that it is on the subway. Maybe I should look more into this. Oh wait, oh, I think I see it actually. Hmm. Interesting. Short attention span. And there it is. Heaven means to be as one with him. Alright, so that's one of the two of them. And since I used a guide, I might as well just show what guide. Um, this one, I flyer. I didn't read the instructions, I saw they were both in the hub world. I was like, oh, okay, but where was the other one? I just knew that one was near the subway, so it was one of these up here. Elsie and Fields. After phasing in, where is Elsie and Fields? The monorail. Maybe that was actually before where I am. Where was this? Where is this? Oh, is it still? Was Elsie and Fields? Where did I go after Egypt? Was that this it? Why do I not remember this area? Where is this area? I think that's where we are right now. That literally looks like where we are right now, kind of. But I don't exactly know where where we are right now. Let me look around. It's the last one. We might as well get it. The thing is, I don't exactly remember where it is, but it looks like out here, doesn't it? It's got the blue grass tree thing going on. There's some rings next to it, so it's not one of these two trees. Hmm. Over here, maybe. I'm booking it. Are there not gonna be two statues in here? There are not two statues in here. Good to know. Okay, it looks like it's around here because these rings are nearby. These. But what? Near. So it looks like it's near one of these, but I don't exactly know where or what we need to do. Maybe I should have read a little bit more. Maybe we should read a little bit more. Is it related to these things? I've never figured out what to do with. Fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna actually just read this. I still have it open. After phasing in three platforms, you will get a little more open field. The eye to what? You know what? I actually think I know where it is now that I'm thinking about it. I commented on this earlier. 
There are platforms over here. I've never figured out why there was platforms or why there's a field or something down there. Maybe I can just jump down to it and I'm gonna give it a scientific try. No, I can't. But I thought that was maybe where it was. Guess I'm just crazy. It's in an area, though, which is, looks like one of these areas, almost, but I'm not quite sure where. That's the problem. Well, because there's a tutorial area I'm just completely forgetting about. Because it says it was... Ah, fuck, you know, I'm going to try something dumb. It's going to waste our time a little bit, but... It's like the last eyeball before we get to the last ending, and it just, it, I don't even know if it affects anything, it probably doesn't, but because we're just right there anyway, it's like, oh, I won't. It, not, not to mention it's not in any of the proper levels, it's in something, I think it's supposed to be in this field, but maybe it's in the tutorial, I'll try, I'll go through, run through the tutorial stuff, because the tutorial stuff is literally super short, so. I guess I'll return to the pirate ship. Da 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 da. color just tinted itself in as we got a little bit closer, but yeah. I... Let's cross on over and up. Even though I've been playing this in one long session, it doesn't it feels like it was a while ago since we were like last came in here and they first showed us the hologram person and yeah. I, I guess I take the teleport to the ship. Though I don't really need to go as far back as the ship. I just need to go after the crash there, but hey, whatever, I can rush it if I need to. Somebody standing there in the flickers, and that's that night we first played this. It's kind of hoping the sail would just turn on by itself, but sure, this will only take up a moment, I guess. Run below deck, oh look at this, I know how to crouch, what an amazing gamer I am. Crouching? Told me twice. Now I'm gonna zap myself. Silly, I guess. <laughs> Stuff everywhere. Here's the first thing I need to open. Alright, both of this or whatever. You know, it probably doesn't actually affect anything. Unlike the bears, they don't really change anything. You pick them up, if you go back, they're still there. You just don't get the achievement. But hey, the message is like this. sequence but rushing it now we wake up in the desert and thankfully the only reason I was like ah fine I'll play the prologue so it will probably be done in like five minutes what was that minute and a half or something all we need to do is rush over here trigger the arcade machine pick up the cube and get back I really doubt you're gonna help me understand so given I'm not really confused by this game we've basically picked up every file it makes the game, it's not like the game was like, wow, but especially since I played Master Reboot before this, and this is evidently a sequel to Master Reboot. I'm not sure if it officially is still, but I think that some of the companies and some of the names here have coincided. But definitely the themes have. They have direct references to Master Reboot, but anyways. What an arcade machine, it's broken. There's the end of the game at the beginning. Let's pick up this cube. Cube obtained. Now it's a magically obtained cube. I too can use this yellow thing to get out of here. Mm. 
Let's get out of here. Out we go. And now I don't actually remember what was after... No, you know what? I know where the last soul thing was now that I'm thinking about it. I just remembered what I forgot. Yeah, I'm happy I redid this prologue because it's what I actually need to do. You want me to bring corruption into the picture? I can do that. I want to make it to a real boulder, so there's more tenseness to this. Real boulder fun. So I just remembered, I know where the last thing is now I'm thinking about it. Not exactly where it is, but I remember what level I completely forgot about. It was the level where we first got this phase power. Yeah, yeah, well, not this level, the level after the sea jumped area. Yeah. What a surprise, I can re-live whatever. You really want me to learn how to use it? I'm not gonna look. Time waster, really. It's all good. Magic in the hood. Now lower that temple, because that's fine. Now make the last one appear. Chris. That. All good. Pyramid lowers. Now this is the level I forgot about, and this is where the last eye thing is, because I didn't get the eye thing here, I guess. Or maybe I did. Wait a second, maybe I did. In which case, let me... I think I did get the eye thing here, and I'm just confused, because I recall... Let me look at this. You know what? I think I got this already, which means I'm wasting my time. What did I not get then? Okay. I think it was in the Egyptian level. Or maybe it wasn't? <sighs> if it was in the Egyptian level, then fuck my life. I literally just came out of it. <laughs> you know what? Fuck this. Because I remembered I just got this one. I just remembered right now because I've forgotten all about this level. Yep, whatever. I don't even think it affects my ending. I'll get it later. When I, I'll be like, when I want to get all the achievements. I just have to go back and play the prologue. How long is the prologue? Like 10 minutes, I don't know. Still, though? That's such a me moment, I know. Okay, fuck all that noise. We're getting the last ending. I don't even think the eye things affect anything. Unless I have achievements and messages that probably mean something. We already collected all but one of them, so I'm pretty sure we got the message array. What's up, my statue homies? Let's teleport. We going to get those monkeys. It's time to choose your destiny. Yeah, okay, this has to be like the true ending because it's bigger mirror than the other two mirrors. Let's go inside. Hey, Doc. The people like him are lost to us forever. You had a close call yesterday. You look much better today. We'll have you out of here in no time. Take him through to the lab. Body snatcher. He and his thugs murdered innocent people. I know where I can acquire more without detection. And now I can continue my research for Persephone. When all is said and done, is it really murder to kill a dying man?
insufferable bitch! As with all those scenes, there were a few new scenes sprinkled in with all the, all the other scenes. One of the new ones was him stabbing her dramatically through the window, so... There'd be noises in this one. Let's collect the things. Strass named as Woman of 2042. Less Innovator tops Era Magazine's or Iconic list. Okay, Anatasia Stratz, director of the research project that made Alessia's soul capture possible, has been named as Era Magazine's most influential woman of 2042. Stratz, who was left wheelchair-bound ten years ago after a serious accident at the Winter Headquarters, has revived a revolutionary project for Sessophone, which was initially cancelled in 2032. The project has grown from an unsubstantiated idea into living proof that the soul is a tangible part of the human body. What's more, Stas has perfected the technology to remove the soul to the point of death and contain it within the Elysis like system, essentially guaranteeing an afterlife. Stas even coined a new term for the energy that the soul consists of Deuce Energy. As well as her groundbreaking research work, she is also curator of the new Ouroboros program, which Winter announced last month. The ambitious project aims to create a digital soul database of humankind, known as the Akashic Records, a legacy for future generations. Current ELISA members can apply to be part of the initial test group for the 31st of October, Halloween. In addition of her latest uh, talking, is escaping me right now. Stas has recently been recognized for extensive charity work, including the formation of an organization supporting young women in technology. Pick this one up. Winter for a prior tomorrow. Re-employment termination. Is there any email under this? No, there's not. Dear George, this letter confirms our discussion today that your employment with Winter Corporation is terminated effective immediately. Your employment, as discussed during the meeting, is terminated because of gross violation of company policy and our code of conduct. Please return your security swipe card, your office keys, and the company-owned laptop, your man mobile phone at your nearest convenience. Please let us know if you can, can assist you during your transition. Regards. Professor and Natasha Strats, head of Digital Interrogation Department Winter. Revenge, the sweetest morsel to the mouth that was ever cooked in hell. I will watch them burn. Alright, pick this one up. Tragedy at Winter. A PR event at the Winter Headquarters ended in tragedy yesterday when the building caught fire during the lunch of the company's new Elisa Soul Sync Studio. Senator Nathan L. Solomon and the Hollywood star Dana Scott are among the 15 reported dead, while further 46 are injured. Scott and Solomon were attending a press event for the launch of Soul Sync Studio, Winter's new Elisa product, and allows uploads to the server from home. It is reported that the fire broke out while both were connected to the Eliza service as part of a demonstration of the new device. America is shocked by the death of Solomon, who was tipped as a frontrunner for next year's presidential elections. A memorial will be held next week in Solomon's hometown of Peak Country, County, Ohio. Award-winning actress Scott was scheduled to premiere her latest film, the sci-fi blockbuster Beyond Infinity, in Eliza next month. Fans of Scar campaigned to turn the screen to a memorial service for the actor. Police regard the fire as suspicious, and an investigation is currently underway to determine the cause of the incident. Neither Scott nor Sullivan's families were available for comment. Top winner headquarters, bottom left, Dana Scott Bottom, uh, right, Senator Nathan L. Sullivan. Beast of a Brigand Murders. And I got Prime Ape, of course. Five years after mass grave discovered, brigand serial killings remain unsolved. Still casting a launch shadow across brigand is a series of unsolved murders dating back six years. In 2031, the remains of six separate victims were found washed up on the shores of Galley Beach, where it sparked a major police hunt. All the victims had high levels of the sedative propofol in their system, as well as a similar body injuries, which prompted the hunt for a suspected serial killer. However, these killings were never solved, and the cases were later reopened after the horrific discovery of mass grave in 2032 in the outskirts of town. 
It was estimated about that 309 sets of human remains were unearthed, but with forensic evidence linking them to the 200,031 murders. In the last decade, connections to other mass killings have been investigated and dismissed, and suspicion has focused on various drifters and criminals, only to see them clean or cleared. Authorities insist that they won't stop until they solve what is known locally as the Beast of the Brigadin Murders. Chief or Constable Peter Cannon pledged the local community, This case will not be shelved or classified as a cold case. It will remain open until the perpetrator or perpetrators are brought to justice. Of course, he's already dead, so... Cannon wants to keep his department's biggest unsolved crime in the forefront of people's minds, knowing that the best chance for a break will come from a tip-off from the public. Cannon also announced that they are working with local government officials to erect a memorial site in honor of the victims. Now then, let's go to the final ending. Oh, hey, I can sit down in the seat. Cause Hello, it's Dr. Davis. I have always considered myself to be a strong person. Strong enough to see you for who you are, and to always follow my convictions. But a stronger person would be able to live their lives without pursuing revenge, and allow you to die in peace. That is more than you will ever deserve in a thousand lifetimes. But I've decided I am not a strong person. I will pursue you, and exact my beautiful revenge upon you for as long as I deem it necessary. That's right, Davis. You're here because I want you to be. And while you're here, stewing in your vile memories, think of this. I'm closer to achieving your dream than you ever were. A last little question for you, in this moment of clarity. Do you think the soul extraction technique is a pleasant thing to experience? Time to commit murder. Fireballs! Okay. Are we ready to trigger this? Let's do it. door has been opened up for us it seems play back in the background. Well that's fun. About what I expected. It's gonna be the same boss battle we did. You will you will escape and a new voice. Out, you, you know not, not case, case, case. I need to figure out all those new, new voice commands. Mean, Corruption. Corruption. Oh, laser right in my face. I just want to get rid of that barrier. We go. There's the next one. Let's get this one out in the eye. Put that in place. Now laser fun. We hit her. You will, 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 you 
Now move, giant monkey butt. Monkey butt moves. Headshot, double KO, KD kill, get this. Of the game, there's a second phase now. That's what I was hoping for. Now I have to figure this out. I can go below deck. This is fine. There is something that I have to do over here. Interact. Might as well reactivate our ship for this, whatever we're doing here. Just using phase <laughs> Ship, let's go up. That's what I expect. Your end is near. Is near. near. Sorry, pop up now. Probably should have popped in there. Your end is near. Oh, figure out where she was though. Destroy. 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 Oh hi. I don't want to get hit by that. Your end is near! Okay, so what is these two? Destroy! 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 That's really bright right Destroy! Now. Destroy! Okay. I think we're trying to get to that red thing over there. Destroy! Destroy! That's good. Destroy! Destroy! Fuck. I think I almost haven't figured Destroy. it out though. Those stairs appear. Destroy. Destroy. Have fun destroying. Your end is near. My, oh dear. Your end is near. Didn't know that yet. Your end is near. That's cool. Destroy! Destroy! Well, I got in the face there. That's always fun. Destroy! Destroy! That guy's pretty bad. Destroy! Destroy! Your end is near. That's cool. So. What am Your I doing end here? Is 
Your end is near. Things to figure out here. Destroy. Destroy. Oh, that's the new power up. Oh. Oh, please ignore me in this. Your end is near. Thank you. You will not escape. Oh, it's not right. You will not escape. Let's go. You will not do it. 
Okay. Okay. What and? Green? Really? Still? See it's locking in on her, and that's a good job. What am I supposed to do? Fire at her back? You will not escape. escape. Freezer, and this time I'm gonna try my best. She's going orange, so I think it's yeah, it's supposed to be I'm supposed to punch her with my fire fist right now. It's locked on her for a little bit of time. You will not escape! Oh. You are really good at tracking her better than I am. Yep. Look. Grabbing a laser off. I'll win this laser off though. Yeah, I think we're having a laser off. See how the laser gets closer to me? There we go, I did her. And the goddess has fallen. Welcome back, Dr. Davis. It's been a long time. Forty years, to be precise. You thought you killed me all those years ago, but I survived. I know the atrocities you carried out in the name of your beloved research. You're a monster, Davis, and you still haven't served your sentence. You spent all those years trying to perfect soul extraction, sacrificing hundreds of people in the process. Ironic that you end up being the first successful Persephone, one of the primary souls to have survived the extraction process, the first to be harnessed. On that day of the launch, when in your selfish rage you murdered those people, you inadvertently entangled your soul together with two others, Miss Scott and Senator Sullivan. I do wish they could have made it out, but unfortunately you've managed to escape again. It's such a pity that you are still the dominant soul. Never mind. Maybe next time you'll make the right choice. Do svidania, George. See you on the other side. I like this music a lot as well. Well, as I was gonna say, I like the game. I'm not sure, I think I like the actually overall less than Master Reboot, even though it's much longer, and in some ways it's finer crafted. I probably, and probably to be frankly completely honest, probably the only reason I like Master Reboot more was because it had way stronger horror tones, so you know my taste. Still though, I like this though. The story of this one was a lot better. I wouldn't say it's an amazing story, but it was good. I thought it was well put together, all things considered. Yeah, yeah. Master Reboot's biggest problem was actually its story, so. <laughs> Anyways. Well, as we go. I'll listen to the music, though, and I guess see what the rest.
Red Crabs provide for us. Solomon and Ouroboros and all that fun stuff. Still though, I guess that would mean Nathan, uh, Nathan's ending there is the quote-unquote uh, won't he pulls off from, so that's interesting enough. That has been Soul Axiom. I enjoyed it again. And it was a lot longer than I was expecting, <laughs> as I said fucking ages ago. I actually think overall I might like Master Reboot more, but I like the art style of this, the music of this, the story of this more. Probably, honestly, the only reason I liked Master Reboot more, two reasons actually. A, the horror elements were much, much stronger in Master Reboot than they were in Soul Axiom. The second thing is that there was a bit more diversity in what you did in Master Reboot. Like, there was a level where you drive a car, there's a level where you have metal detection, you look around, there's a level, there's a level with horror stalker monsters, there's a level that's almost all completely puzzle based. But Soul Axiom also had advantages over it, like how it had its uh, mechanic systems that was used, it was much prettier, and I felt like it was a better designed game overall, but hey. Still had some flaws with it though. Very pretty though. So though. You can see the Doctor statue. Uh, maybe at some point, I mean, I mean, I guess we can glance here just ever so briefly. We'll just glance at the statue, the doctor's statue, and then finish off there. The only thing that I guess we need to do is go achievement hunting and find that last door. I don't think that would affect the ending, but yeah, yeah. I, I will say I'm about ready to sign off on account that I've been streaming this for over 16 hours at this point. Straight, right overnight, but yeah. I, but I guess I should take the moment to appreciate that we collected all the fucking monkeys. Look at those monkeys jumping in that goddamn thing. Yeah, yeah. I'll take this to jump right on through. And let's hop on down so we can see the last statue thing. Oh, there's actually four statues here. Fun, fun. Now I meant to press. I accidentally pressed teleport. I was about to. You know, okay, well, I guess I'll teleport back here and see the cracked mirror and find the secret fourth end. No. Oh, there's no, I don't think there's any other endings. It's time to choose your destiny. This is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed Selaxium. This has been Aesthetic Game Rock at Dusk Golem. It's been a fun little, if not for me, tiring, but not in a bad way. Uh, right. Until next time, adieu to all of you. Ah, I'm ready to hit the hay. I'm not sure if you could tell. It's not like I've been streaming this for a long period of time or anything. Hope you guys enjoyed. Unfortunately, that was a lot longer than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be kind of long, which is why it was the only game I set to play today.
So I was like, oh, okay, well, Mass Reboot was longer than I was expecting. So maybe I should make this be the only game that we play because it's late at night. And that'll probably be the only thing that we play. Well, I expect it was a 16 hour long game for me. But yeah, regardless. We'll have to see how that messes with our schedule, I guess. Especially since the reason why I'm not streaming July 11th is because that's my birthday. So I was going to say, rolling from that one. Until next time, though, I shall bid adieu. To all of you, good night, everybody. Or morning. I'm going to sleep. I do. <laughs> we may or may not be streaming late tonight. Maybe I should try staying up today. I might try staying up for a stupid amount of time just so I don't pass out there. But unfortunately, it doesn't mean that still, though. Uh, there'll be another game later. We're not done. I was just saying that I'm not sure if we're going to be able to complete all the games that we want to complete. It depends how long the other games are, really. If they're all pretty short, then sure, we can complete them. If one of them is really long like this, though, then <laughs> no fun. Still, though, until then, I guess, I shall say, well, do.